it stays with you for the rest of your life. Within a minute, all your dreams are shattered. It was a shock to begin with, and I didn't seem to have any breathlessness or any other symptoms. We never ever think it will be me. First question comes in my head, why me? Heart disease is the United Kingdom's biggest killer. That's why the University of Leicester and the University Hospitals of Leicester NHS Trust have made it their highest priority for research and they've launched an urgent appeal to fund a cardiovascular research centre. Manjula Sood, former Lord Mayor of Leicester, lost her husband Paul following a heart attack. This appeal is very, very close to my heart. Fifteen minutes before his death, he spoke to me, and next thing I heard was he's no longer there. And you know, every day, every moment of my life, I miss him, my children, they miss him. Our life is not the same. The University of Leicester and Glenfield Hospital already have an enviable reputation for world-leading research into the prevention and treatment of heart disease. Glenfield sees 16,000 cardiac patients each year. Leicester is renowned internationally for its cardiovascular research in a whole range of areas in the, in, 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 in the treatment of heart coronary artery disease, in genetics, in the treatment of and management of high blood pressure. So you know, if you go, I go travel around the world quite a lot in my job and people recognize Leicester as one of the centers of excellence for research in heart disease. Work in the cardiovascular research unit will make a real difference to people's lives. It will mean that work conducted in the laboratory can be translated into action on hospital wards. If we look at this running image here, you can see there's a narrowing right at the origin of this artery. Professor Tony Gershlik and his team pioneered the use of biodegradable stents to treat blocked arteries. Yeah, Approximately D needs a stent in it as well. Yeah. They release a drug which prevents arteries narrowing. The procedure first used at Glenfield has been adopted all over the world. It's not good for the patient to have to have a bypass graft operation, so if you can do it from the outside using balloons and stents, then you can treat many more patients. They can go home the same day or are going home first thing tomorrow morning. So it's a much more benign procedure and the long-term results are very good. So what this is doing is it's actually measuring his blood pressure with a conventional blood pressure cuff. But in Leicester we've developed a new device which also records the pulse wave itself. Another major University of Leicester advance will revolutionise the way blood pressure is measured. High blood pressure is known as the silent killer because many do not experience any symptoms. We think that's going to transform the way we measure blood pressure for the first time for 100 years. We've been doing it like this for 100 years or more and I think this kind of technology developed here in Leicester is going to change the way we measure blood pressure across the world. A new dedicated research centre is essential to continue this life-saving work. At present, limited laboratory space a lack of specialised equipment and advanced computer systems hamper vital research directly affecting heart patients. The University of Leicester has already committed more than £8 million, but another £4 million is still needed to get the centre up and running. One major line of research will concentrate on why heart disease affects so many in the South Asian community. The aim is to improve understanding of the genetic link and carry out research into treatments and prevention, which will have a huge impact on Asians here and across the world. The Edith Murphy Foundation has helped to raise the first half million pounds for the appeal. We feel that anything that can be uh, done to um, improve our knowledge of cardiovascular disease 
um, its prevention, its treatment and its care it is something that certainly the Edith Murphy Foundation would wish to support. In the intensive care unit, five-year-old Joshua Baker is recovering from his seventh major heart operation. He has two healthy sisters and his family has been told his illness may be caused by a faulty gene. It's just been horrendous. If they could sort out a research centre that could maybe find out genetic defects before um, the children are born, it would make such a difference to not just us but to other families. Your help is urgently needed to save lives. Each and everybody, whatever they can contribute, every penny counts. It's easy to make a donation. You can call 0116-223-1071 or email crc.appeal at le.ac.uk or visit www.le.ac.uk forward slash crcappeal.